Hey guys, it's your girl Rebecca here again with a new speed build and one that's going to be really, really exciting because it's a part of the new European pack. Um, I was super excited to have this build and be able to make it. Um, honestly, as you guys can tell from the title and from the uh, little snapshot that we got in the beginning, this is a Harry Potter slash Hufflepuff build. Um, I just had to with the European Badger. It is the coolest thing that I've one of the coolest animals that they've put into the planet zoo um in general in the entire um two years that we've had it um it's just so amazing i love the detail i love just how freaking adorable they are um i will say for some reason they kind of glitched in this build and like they don't move around very much which is a little disappointing but i will definitely be making a different build for them um, in a separate suit, but I just thought this would be a really, really fun one-off uh, type build where like we kind of get to see what it would look like if, you know, some real life badgers took over the real life Hufflepuff common room. I mean, who wouldn't love to see that? Um, but yeah, I kind of just went off and flew by the seat of my pants for this build. I did look up a few pictures of the common room and kind of what it looks like and the different details that are in there, but obviously we don't have so many, um, perfectly realistic uh, like building items that would match uh, so I did my very best and I did use some mods as well um, just to give it that really really perfect touch um, but also also if I could just say the candles that we got in the um, new European pack are amazing and they made this build look so much more um, legitimate and like perfect uh, honestly you guys will see at the very end um, but I just kind of put them everywhere. Uh, honestly, thinking back on it now, I probably should have just made some that are just like kind of hang in there because I know in Harry Potter they do just kind of float. Um, but it was just really, really cool to have that type of stuff to be able to build with. Um, not just because it's not mods, but just because it's supported by Planet Zoo and the whole Planet Zoo team. It was just really, really cool to have in there. But moving on, um, like I said, this was just a really fun build to do and to be able to do it like really quickly just to get the video out. Um, but I really was super excited to do this. I know I had had it in my brain um, at the beginning when we first figured out this was a European pack that I was doing a Harry Potter build and it was going to be Hufflepuff and it was going to be amazing. And honestly, I'm really, really proud of how it turned out. Um, like I say, I did try to do more detail than I normally do with uh speed builds and things like that um especially one-off builds um i know i've done a few and honestly i think um i'm actually more excited to do like one-off builds than i am to do zoo builds um from any of my zoos that i have going on right now just because i feel like i'm like really horrible at finishing things and so with a zoo it's like i've got to like kind of figure out like where the zoo is going and plan different things around it but with one-off builds i can really just have fun and like not really worry about that um so yeah it was really fun to make this um and just kind of not worry about anything else besides this one build and like where it may be going or anything like that um but yeah and it was really fun to mess around with the new um pieces and honestly i will definitely be doing that um in the coming weeks and stuff like that just really getting to know all of the new pieces and the new decals um like what like those are so cool i didn't even think that we were going to get something like that and we got so many different amazing decals that we're going to be able to use so yeah i was really excited for that and um just for this pack in general um i really can't wait to like get into all of the other animals and make habitats for them as well um but yeah, I am just really excited and I really want to know if you guys are too. Um, I know that the European pack was kind of already like known that we were going to get it. Um, and I honestly don't know what's going to come next. Uh, like could be birds, could be um, more marine aquatic animals. Um, those are really the only two that are in my brain that I could think of that they would add, except for maybe another animal pack. But let me know in the comments what you guys think that we're gonna have next um not to like push this one to the dust but um i'm just kind of really excited for like the new stuff that's continuing to come out 
at, for Planet Zoo and just for like simulation games in general. Like I know Prehistoric Kingdom has been getting pretty big um, in the community as well just because it is such like a cool sort of similar game. Um, so I'm super hyped about that. All of the videos that people are coming out with are just amazing and the live streams and different things like that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are looking forward to because I am definitely looking forward to getting more playtime with this new DLC and also just looking forward to what like is in the future for Planet Zoo because for a little while there we really thought that it wasn't going to have very much of a more longer lived future but I feel like especially with this pack coming out and the detail and the additions that they're making with the um, not only the free update but the DLC in general that there is definitely still more to come with Planet Zoo. Um, so let me know in the comments and you know if you guys like this video if you want to see more um, um, probably movie builds because again those are just one of the favorite things that I really like doing. Um, just leave a like, leave a comment, um, suggest a different movie maybe. Um, I don't know but uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Goodbye!
Amen.